NDC, and MPP, and produce a roadmap and a code of conduct to guide political behavior before, during, and after the last elections. The Council thereafter undertook a nationwide advocacy and sensitization of the general public on the anti-vigilantism law and the code of conduct for political parties and the signing of the Presidential Peace Pact as a means to guarantee peace before, during, and after the election. This led to generally peaceful elections. Indeed, we did not record any act of vigilantism during the elections. Regrettably, however, some people died in the post-election violence during the coalition of results. This is a dent on our democratic credibility and should not be allowed to fester. At a post-election dialogue in Adan earlier this year, participants, which included the Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Majority and Minority Leader of Parliament, Chairman and Joint Secretaries of the NPP and DC, representatives of the CPP and PNC, members of the security services, donor partners, civil society organizations, academia, electoral commission, judiciary, the National Peace Council, among others. We resolved to ensure that these unfortunate e events do not happen again in this country. Excellencies, another threat to Ghana's peace is what has become known as violent extremism and terrorism. Currently in the West African subregion, violent extremism and violent extremists are gaining ground. Burkina Faso, Ghana's northern neighbor, has had to battle violent extremists for some time now. It is important that we in Ghana take steps to consolidate our peace and intentionally close any gaps, such as unemployment, fundamentalism, maladministration, that could allow for the growth of violent extremism in the country. Collectively, it is the duty of every Ghanaian to work towards protecting the peace we are enjoying in, in this country. We call on fellow citizens to report any suspicious activity to the relevant law enforcement agencies for the necessary action to be taken.